Hey guys, old fashioned musical La La Land is out this week, and I'm here to tell you why one of my favourite movies of the year is an Oscars frontrunner. Now, the story is about Mia, an aspiring actress, and Sebastian, a jazz musician, and the creative dreams they have that thread into tear their love affair apart. Now, this is from director Damon Chazelle, who made the brilliant Whiplash, and he proves he's no flash in the pan with this amazing love letter to old school Hollywood. You would have thought the days of big-hearted, technicolour, tap-dancing musicals would have wandered off into the sunset with Gene Kelly and Judy Garland. But Damien Chazelle brings back this old genre into the real modern world life and his assured direction just makes one of my favourite movies of the year. Now the two leads here show us some real chemistry. Amazingly, it's their third movie together. After the brilliant romantic comedy, Crazy Stupid Love, and the so-so Gangster Squad. But honestly, they show the commitment to the craft by learning how to dance, um, Gosling learned how to play the piano, and it just pays off on screen. They provide some real laughs, some emotional gut punches, and one of the best one-take tap dancing scenes you'll ever see. This thing is up for seven Golden Globes, and it's just going to make the Oscars cream their pants for all the throwbacks to old school Hollywood. One Oscar that's a definite lock is Best Song. Giselle got his Harvard University buddy Justin Herbert to write the tunes, and musicals live or die by their songs, and he's written some crackers here. The theme song captures the whole melancholic beauty perfectly. It's called City of Stars, and you'll love it. Um, there's also Somebody in the Crowd, uh, Emma Stone's uh, solo effort, uh, Falls Who Dream, and the great opening number, Another Day in the Sun. Oh, it's just brilliant stuff. I fell in love with this movie. It looks gorgeous. These two are so charming, it hurts and you'll just love the music. Go check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like and subscribe. I'm back next week with another review. Cheers.